Hello everyone, today we are going to discuss about the religion of Indus Valley Civilization. Before I discuss about the religion, let me make it very clear that from various sites we have found various archaeological evidences which does not reflect any uniformity of religious practices. So keeping that in mind, let us go and discuss what are the various trends found in Indus Valley civilization which give us certain insight about the religious practices available or uh, you know religious practices of that period. Okay. So, when we talk about religion of Indus Valley civilization, we have not found any temple to suggest that there was a certain kind of religious practice which was followed in the civilization. But what we have found are symbolic evidences such as sacrificial uh, pit or image of mother goddess or the image of uh, a male deity on the seal. So, Based on all these evidences, we can categorize the religion on following ground. First, we can say that there was practice of fertility cult. What are the evidences which have come across to suggest that there was fertility cult? First, image of mother goddess figurine or image of mother goddess or figurine of mother goddess. Now we have come across a figurine in Mohanjadaro of a female where from her embryo we see the growth of plant. This suggests that she is related to fertility cult and as we know that Indus Valley civilization was basically a, a, a civilization which was based on agriculture and surplus agriculture led to trade and further advancement of the civilization. We can, we can definitely understand that fertility of land and fertility or growth of cultivation must have played a very important role in the life of such people. As such, having such such an image of mother goddess which can be connected to fertility cult is very usual and uh, as such we have found such figurine at Mohanjadaro. Next if we look into the, uh, the practices we have also found a, a, an image of male deity. So we see the presence of male deity. This male deity is also known as Proto Shiva. The image of this male deity has mostly been derived from the seals, the Harappan seals. So, in these Harappan seal, we find a yogi sitting in a Padmasan position. He has a crown, a horned crown and on his feet we find two deers who are sitting on his feet. Along with that we also find images of animals such as tiger, water buffalo, elephant who are uh, and rhinosaurus who are surrounding him. So, this image looks like the image of proto Shiva, the Shiva that we know or the Pashupati Maheshwar. So, he this image has been uh, connected with the image of Pashupati Nath. As we all know, Pashupati Nath is seen as an incarnation of Shiva. He is seen as the lord of wild beast. So, this image, this seal shows that there must have been a practice of worshipping male deity. Other than that, we also see sacrificial cults in Kalibangan. So, there are certain places such as Kalibangan. In Kalibangan, we have found seven numbers of sacrificial pits and in one of those sacrificial pit, we have also found the bone of ox. Along with Kalibangan, Rupar and Lothal provides us evidence of
sacrificial cult. So basically these sacrificial pits are fire pits where such a practice was performed. Other than that we find the sign of zoomorphic religion. What are zoomorphic practices? Now zoomorphic practices are those practices where certain uh, animals are given supernatural uh, you know characteristics. In India, in Hinduism we see that uh, you know humped bull is worshipped along with that snake is also worshipped. Such practices have been found in Harappan site as well. We see that animals such as tiger, snake, bull were uh, worshipped in that, uh, in that uh, civilization. Along with that a supernatural or mythical animal called unicorn is also worshipped. The seal of uniform or uh, unicorn or ek singha is very famous and is found in abundance in Harappan site. In feet of the unicorn we see incense stick which suggests that most probably unicorn was also worshipped in Harappan site and the fifth important religious practice that we find in Harappan site is animism, the practice of animism. So when we say animism, animism means putting animated features or uh, you know placing uh, some supernatural characteristic in unanimated object or non-living object. In India swastik is worshipped, people tree is worshipped and similar practice was seen in Harappan site also. We have found the symbol of swastik. We have found the symbol of people leave in the seals of Harappan sites. So that suggests that most probably animism was also practiced. Further, the, uh, the tank discovered, the water tank discovered in Mohanjadaro, which is also known as the Great Bath, suggests that some kind of water cult was also prevalent. Either water was seen as a divine body like today we worship Yamuna or Ganga in India. Similarly, some kind of water cult must have been practiced. It may have been a very paganistic ritual or maybe uh, it could have been part of animism. In certain questions in UPSC, it has been asked that which religion has some affinity with uh, you know with Harappan religion. The options were Buddhism, Jainism and Rig Vedic religion. So if you have to choose an option it will be Jainism. How does Jainism has a connection with Harappan religion? Well the sign or the symbol of male deity sitting in an asana posture suggests that he is meditating. So and he is naked so which is connected to the Gambar sect of Jainism. So that was the answer. Jainism was one religion which can have certain kind of connection with uh, you know with the uh, Indus, Valley, uh, Indus Valley religion. Another important fact that you must remember there was a difference between what we have found, the religious practice that we have found in Indus Valley and the Rig Vedic religion. In Rig Vedic religion we do not find any idol worship but in Indus Valley we have found idols. So this is all about the religious practices of Indus Valley civilization. Burial practices are very important rituals to understand what kind of society they had or what kind of society we are studying.
So, when we study the Indus Valley civilization, we understand that they used to bury their dead unlike the Rig Vedic people who used to burn their dead bodies. So, when we look into the burial practices, we find that dead bodies were kept either in east-west orientation or south-north orientation, but exceptions have been found in certain sites where the directional orientation have not been, has not been maintained. Anyway, going forth, we find that the burial was performed in three categories. There are three kind of burial practices which was, uh, which has been found in Indus Valley civilization. First is complete burial practice. Symmetries of complete burial have been discovered in places like Harappa, Mohanjadaro, Kalibangan, Lothan and Rupar. In Harappa, we find coffin burials. So, dead bodies were placed in coffin and then buried. In Rupar, an interesting fact is that we have found grave, graves where male and female bodies were buried together. Now, that could be sign of sati or maybe a slave was buried with the master. We do not know yet, but this is an exceptional practice. So, remembering Rupar is very important. Rupar is one place where we have found graves having male and female skeleton. This is a very important information, archaeological information that we have found about Indus Valley civilization. Other than that, in Surkotada, in Surkotada, dead bodies were buried in pot which is a very exceptional practice and very unique practice. So, in Surkotada, we do not find coffin burial which has been found in Harappa, but in Surkotada, we find pot burials. Other than that, in uh, Lothal, we have uh, in, in uh, Lothal, we have come across graves where we have found skeleton of dog which was maybe which was given away as a sacrifice to the dead person. Along with complete burial, we also find evidence of fractional burial. Fractional burial are those burial where dead body is not buried. Instead, it is kept in an open area where scavengers come and feed on them and finally, after few days, the skeleton of the dead body is buried in the grave. Such practices are still prevalent in many communities in India. Other than fractional burial, we have also found burial of ashes. So, the dead bodies were first cremated and then the ash was placed in an oon and only that oon was buried in the ground. Along with this, we have also found evidence of symmetry age. Now, according to historians, symmetry age belongs to Aryans who came to India. So, unlike burying their dead body, Aryans usually burned the dead body and the ash was either thrown in the river or it was kept in the ground. So, these are the burial practices which we have found in Indus Valley civilization.